Hello, my dear sewing friends. It's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we are on episode number five of Knit Bodice Block. And today we're going to be talking about sleeves, particularly about reglan sleeves like you see here on the dress form. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take your Knit Bodice Block that has that classic standard sleeve, the bell-shaped sleeve that I often call it, and we're going to transform it into a raglan sleeve. Now, raglan sleeves come in a variety of different shapes and forms. I mean, you can have them simple like that. You can also have a raglan sleeve go into the yoke across the front bodice or the back bodice. I mean, the possibilities are endless. We're going to take a look at how to do the simplest of the adjustments. Just a basic raglan sleeve to get started, and from there, you can have a lot of fun. All right, to get us started, let's go ahead and grab the knit bodice block pattern or whatever other pattern that you're using for this, and let's copy that onto a new piece of paper, including the sleeve. Now, while I'm doing that and taking care of that, I would like to take a moment and say that if you do have a question about, let's say, what kind of other patterns can you use for this particular series that we're having every Sunday? What is the knit bodice block and what's the difference between a knit and a woven bodice block? What about seam allowances and hem allowances? Why am I using Using inches instead of centimeters in my videos and every other question that you might have including about what fabric to use and where to find the links for the tutorials will be answered in the welcome video of the series. Now the link for the welcome video is underneath every single episode in this series and you can find it by opening the info box. Now I do get a ton of comments and I cannot possibly answer all of them unfortunately, but majority of these questions are answered in the welcome video and I did it specifically for your convenience. So I would encourage you if you have any one of those questions, please go ahead and take a look at the welcome video. First, let's go ahead and start our work with the front pattern piece of the bodice itself. And here we have to remember that the style of the reglan sleeve is one where the sleeve becomes part of the neckline. So here you can see, here's the front bodice, here is the back bodice, and the sleeve, the striped portion right over here, is actually part of the neckline. So that's what I'm going to be marking right now on my front pattern piece. Now usually I go for about two inches from the shoulder seam to the neckline. For you, it can be three inches, it can be five, as I said, it can be a whole yoke depending on the design of your raglan sleeve. So you really have to experiment and take a look. I don't like when it's too far up here and I also don't like when the shoulder part of the raglan sleeve is too narrow. So it really comes down to your personal preference. Once that is done, let's go ahead and move on to the armhole itself. Usually what I do is I visually divide the curve of the armhole in half, and then I work with the bottom half of the armhole. From here, you could take a pencil and a ruler if you would like to, but it's not necessary. The line doesn't have to be necessarily straight. It can be slightly curved. And just go ahead and connect these two points however you would like. Now a quick mention over here, this is how I do my reglan sleeves. There are a ton of different versions and options and methods how you can do yours. So definitely find what works for you. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the sleeve. You have your front pattern piece, your back pattern piece, and the middle of the sleeve. So now let's go ahead and fold it in half along that center line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three inches down from the top of the sleeve in the middle right over here. So one, two, three, three inches down and I'm going to make a little mark right over here. And then right over here at the top of the sleeve, I'm going to mark about quarter of an inch. I will explain why a quarter of an inch here in just a second. So now we have two marks, one right over here and one right over here. And now I'm going to connect it with a very slight curved line. So from here, I'm going to curve it in and then just blend in into the middle. There we go. So I've made this line and it blends back in into the middle of the sleeve like so. 
So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm actually removing the ease from the sleeve cap. So when we're working with our regular basic sleeve, the bell shape, usually we have a little bit of ease right here in this area so that way the sleeve would fit better into the armhole and therefore would fit better when it's on our body. Since we're working with a Raglan sleeve that is a completely different type of sleeve, I'm removing that ease since we don't need it. Now you might have quite a bit of ease in your sleeves. Usually I have about half an inch in my sleeves. As you know, I'm not a real big fan of adding ease to the sleeves, therefore I usually try to do on the smaller side. Since I have about half an inch of ease in my sleeve and we fold that in half, that's the reason why I remove just a quarter of an inch on the fold. Now from here I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this part right over here from the bodice and then we're going to attach it to the sleeve. And you're going to do exactly the same things for the back pattern piece as well. Now let's go ahead, take this sleeve, open this up. This is my front pattern piece for the sleeve and that's what we're going to be working with since I did cut apart the front bodice piece. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this part right over here and now I'm going to attach it to the sleeve. And the way you want to attach it is that the opening on the top right over here and the opening on the bottom is somewhat the same. And then I usually go ahead and grab a little bit of the painter's tape or scotch tape, whatever you have, and I go ahead and connect these two. There we go. Sometimes also just to create a smoother line, I might go ahead and pivot it a little bit upwards like so, just to create a smoother line. There we go. And that is going to be creating part of our Raglan sleeve. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a new piece of paper and I'm going to complete the front piece of the sleeve and the back piece of the sleeve before moving on to the final stages of adjusting the bodice. Now here, before I cut this back pattern piece, I wanted to note one thing that I usually try to do. So here was the kind of the middle of the armhole right over here. As you can see, I actually lowered that point and that is because all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to connect the neckline with the underarm section in such a way so that way it would create a really nice smooth line right over here. So it goes from here, it goes, 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 and then it goes into that underarm curve right over here. So all I'm trying to do in the majority of the cases is to create a really nice and smooth connection from this point all the way to this point. Now here, what I did, I went ahead and I attached the back pattern piece, the shoulder piece, to the back pattern piece of the sleeve, exactly the same way as we did that for the front pattern piece. And I also went ahead and I cut apart the sleeve down that center line right over here. Now there's a wide variety of different raglan sleeves out there, the ones that look like this, with a little dart in this area, the ones that are drafted all as one piece, and also the ones that are drafted as a two-piece sleeve, the front and the back. So you can do whichever way you prefer. I'm just showing you this method as of this very moment. I went ahead and I did a straight line and pin curl right over here, so that way it's just a little bit easier for us to align the sleeve to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and align the center of the sleeve with a straight line, wherever it's straight. So here we did that curve that we cut out, so I want to align the straight part of the sleeve like so. There we go. And obviously my whole sleeve right now doesn't fit on this new piece of paper, but you will be doing whatever is best for you. Since this is for demo purposes, this will be just fine. And what I want to do right now is I want to outline in this part of the sleeve right over here, but I want to blend it and I want to make sure that this part here is nice and smooth so that way once it is an actual sleeve, it doesn't look bumpy and it doesn't look awkward. So let's go ahead and outline that with a nice smooth curve. Here you can either bring it up or you can also sometimes cut away just a tiny bit. There we go. And I also want to outline this part, which was the neckline part. There we go. And now right over here, the same deal. We want to make sure that once we are outlining it, we are curving it in, especially in this area right over here. There we go. All 
All right, the front pattern piece of our raglan sleeve is done. Once both of the sleeves are done, I do, however, make sure that the top length right over here is equal from one sleeve to another. So that way when we place them together and we sew them, we don't end up with like gatherings of the fabrics or one sleeve shorter or longer in this part right over here. So what I do is these little notches are actually from these pattern pieces right over here. This was the, uh, the top part of the sleeve right over here. So what I try to do is I just walk the sleeve one against another just to see that they indeed match in length. So I place the notches together, then I align it, and then I just walk the sleeve and make sure that they are of the same length. If they're, if they're not, I just go ahead and adjust. All right, the sleeves are done. Let's go back to the bodices. So this is my front bodice piece that we worked with a little bit earlier. And I want to grab my front pattern piece for the sleeve as well. And I want to align them back up as if they were one piece. So here we go. We're placing it right back in here. As you can see, this was the part of the neckline. So what I'm doing is I'm simply flipping the sleeve like so. I'm still aligning the neckline points right over here and I'm also aligning the sleeve along the line where it actually forms one pattern piece when sewn right over here. So we're just going ahead and we're aligning it like so. And here if I press it you will see that the bodice continues right over here. Now right over here where is the end of the line that aligns with the bodice, I'm going to go ahead and place my marker like this. And what we're actually going to do is I'm going to pivot the sleeve as you can see that I'm doing. I'm pivoting, pivoting, pivoting up until this point of the um, of the sleeve, the, un, the kind of like the underarm section of the sleeve, the point reaches the side seam of the bodice. Bam, right over here as you can see. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I want to outline that. There we go. And as you can see, this actually went ahead and it did lower the armhole. And right over here, kind of made a little bit of a mess over here, but right over here, obviously it forms a little dip that goes like that. And we cannot leave it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and straighten it out just a tiny bit, like so. There we go. And now we can take our sleeve back and we can again walk the sleeve and walk this seam right over here to ensure that they indeed match in length. So that way when you place them together, you will get a pattern piece that actually aligns and it does. And now it's time for us to cut it. Important note to add is that after you're done with your first test drive of Reglan sleeves, you can change them up however you would like because the most important thing is how it looks and how it fits and how it feels on your body. So let's say you want to add width to your sleeve. You can absolutely do that. You can do that on the top right over here. You can also do that on the bottom if you'd like to. I usually do that on the top right over here. If you'd like to add more length to the neckline, you can do it on here, on here, or, or on the bodice piece. If you like this curve right over here a bit more than you like this curve, absolutely. You can go ahead and you can copy this curve onto your reglan sleeve. You can build back a little bit of fabric right over here. You can do so many things. Just remember, it's not all cut and dry. There is a wide variety of different raglan sleeves. It really just comes down to what looks good, what feels good, what fits good, and what do you like personally in your raglan sleeves. One more thing to remember. Now usually when I do this, these match, but just in case I always double check and I place my back pattern piece and my front pattern piece side seam to side seam because we did lower the armhole. Therefore, I just want to make sure that these match and usually they match and if they don't match, the discrepancy is very small. So if there is a discrepancy, just go ahead and lower the other armhole and then check it against your sleeve as well and adjust the curve of the sleeve if needed to match the length of the bodice. 
Here I actually put this together very quickly and I did base it by hand so you can see the white thread peeking through. This is just one half of a test garment. That way you can actually see the shape of this reglan and how it fits on my body. Now here, that little pucker over here is actually where my bra strap is at. But other than that, the, the actual fit of the sleeve is really nice. You can see the center of the sleeve is nicely centered on my shoulder. Everything else fits really well as well. The interesting fact here is that the gray fabric is knit, so it stretches, but the blue fabric is actually a really soft draping woven, so it has no stretch to it whatsoever. It just so happened that I didn't have a contrasting knit fabric, so that way I could show you on a test garment. Therefore, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna take some woven fabric and do this real quick. And even with woven fabric, in, in this case, it fits really well. The only thing that I would change is the underarm section right over here. So that way it doesn't lift up as much when I lift up my arms. And this is how I would actually do that on the pattern. So this is our actual pattern and the green line is what I would add to the underarm section right over here. And of course, once you adjust one part of your garment, you will need to go ahead and adjust the underarm section on the bodice as well. Just to clear up any possible confusion, the raglan sleeve that you see here on the dress form is a one piece raglan sleeve and I already have a tutorial for it on the channel. The reglan sleeve that we drafted today from our knit bodice box is a two-piece reglan sleeve. And of course, don't forget about the direction of the stretch on the pattern pieces for the sleeve when you're going to be cutting your fabric. Now, I actually have quite a lot of videos on my channel about reglan sleeves, including how to draft a whole pattern from scratch, the bodice and the sleeve, how to transform your t-shirt pattern, and also ideas about how to color block and just spice up your simple reglan sleeve shirt pattern. So if you're interested, definitely go ahead and click all right over here. It will take you to a full playlist of those videos, and I'm sure that you will find something useful in there. Thank you so much for watching. This was one of the ways how I modify my knit bodice block into a red glance sleeve. As always, there's many more ways how to do it, but I truly hope that you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy, thoughtful sewing. I'll see you soon. Bye.